Hey, what took you so long? No matter. Come on up. You're not going to believe it. The view up here is awesome. Wow. Wasn't that an exhilarating climb? Totally life affirming. Speaking of which, thanks for helping me out on my quest. You know, I realized something while I was standing here. I went in search of a Yeti, and I wound up finding myself. Pretty deep, eh? So yeah, I'm just gonna hang around here for a while and take it all in. I totally hope you guys have an awesome journey, though. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks, Zoot. Stay mellow, or whatever. It's really not that much farther now to the Sunless Shrine. Check it out! I think that's the shrine right there. We just follow the frozen riverbed and steer clear of the numbskull ogres. Let's go. You don't see something like that every day. I guess that's why it's called the River of Frozen Tears. No one's been here in a long time. Look at the doors. They're frozen shut. You know, I remember reading something about a ritual here. I think we have to light a fire in the two braziers to unseal the door. Not much to burn around here, though. Actually, I have an idea. We can gather a couple of the Numbskull Ogres Clubs and use those for firewood. Don't worry, I got your back. That should do it. Let's go toss these clubs into the braziers and light them up. Looks like that did the trick. Guess we're going in now. I wonder what we're going to find. You go first. The stone chamber appears to be ancient, but it's been immaculately maintained. The air still feels clean and fresh. Jehur Hardin, children of the New Age. In your tongue, I am called Vigilant Perrin, and I extend to you the welcome of the Sunless Shrine. From the dawn of this age to this time of twilight, my fellow Lufalum and I have maintained our vigil here. The Auroracle foresaw your coming many centuries ago, and all this time we have waited to administer the trials. To gain audience with the Auroracle, the first trial you must face is the trial of courage in the north wing of the shrine. Terror hounds. Why did it have to be terror hounds?
was only the first of the trials? Great. Can't wait to see what's coming next. Why is this stuff always so difficult? Jehoiakoraj, young one. You have completed the trial of courage. To gain audience with the Auroracle, you must prove you are as wise as you are brave. You must face the trial of wisdom. In the South Wing, you will meet two brothers. One of them will always bear false witness, while the other will always speak the truth. One of the brothers has poisoned claws. He must be struck down first in the duel. Pay close attention to what is said. Look, I'm going to tell it to you straight. My brother is the one who cannot be honest. That's not true. He's the liar. I would never deceive you. I'll tell you this much. If you ask him, he'd tell you that I'm the one with poisoned claws.
こでござった<笑>
It is clear you have faced many battles before today, and they have honed you into a champion among the children of this era. Return to Vigilant Perrin, and he shall usher you into the Auroracle's presence. Jehoa Valur, young champion. You have faced Vigilant Jarillo in a duel and proven you are as valiant as you are wise. You have proven your worthiness to gain audience with the Auroracle. I shall presently usher you in to see her. Before you enter, however, you must know that she is fragile. We do not know what has befallen her, but she appears to have taken ill. Perhaps it is simply time. She has awaited your coming since the dawn of this age, an age now in its twilight. You may enter the Auroracle's chamber, hear her counsel, but do not expect to fully comprehend it. That often takes time. Now that is something you don't see every day. I read the ancient text, but I never imagined she'd be so beautiful. Not all things are definite, but we always knew the moment would arrive, and so it has. We watched as the first world was destroyed and wept. Then the song was sung and the spiral was woven. We forestalled our sorrow. But that which was frozen in time, and in our hearts, flows again. The first sign is nigh. A shadow comes to tear land and sky asunder. After, it soon is only a matter of time. When the sand settles, the spiral shall in as it began, with a broken heart. Hearken to me, though. Should the moment rise, the sundering shall be stopped, and the hastening shall be slowed. That was interesting. I didn't really understand it, but it sounded pretty important, don't you think? You should go back to the witch's house and tell her what the Auroracle said. Maybe she can make something of it. I'll catch up with you. I have some questions for the Auroracle myself. I'm hoping she'll be a little more clear with me.